Priority Matrix for Outlook 365 makes email management easy. When you use the Priority Matrix in Outlook 365 integration, you can effortlessly prioritize your emails. Prioritizing your emails will also allow you to seamlessly collaborate on them, manage these emails by setting deadlines, reminders, and delegating as needed. Taking a closer look at the settings within the Outlook 365 add-in. You have two options when you prioritize your emails by turning them into a task in Priority Matrix. The first option is to attach the original message as an EML file. The second option is to not attach the email, but rather create a link back to this email so you can open it using the Outlook web application. There are a few setting op settings options you can see here on the right hand side of my screen, but the one we want to focus on is the second toggle option. To modify the settings, open your Outlook 365 application and click on the Open Priority Matrix option in your toolbar. And from there, you will see the gear in the top right corner. Choose the gear icon and then click on Settings. Again, the second option is the one you will want to toggle back and forth to change your settings. Taking a look at this in real time together, when I open up my Outlook application, here I can see the Open Priority Matrix option. From there, I can choose the gear icon, I'll click on settings, and then again, the second option here is the one you will want to pay attention to. So why might somebody want to attach the email versus creating the link to the email? If you work with others, use the native Outlook app, and you move your emails around, in other words, moving them to different folders within Outlook, in that case, we would suggest attaching the email. On the other hand, if you use the Outlook web application, creating the link back to your email will definitely be your best option. To learn more about Priority Matrix, register and attend our upcoming webinars, or you can watch pre-recorded training material on our YouTube channel. Thanks for listening, and if you have more questions, visit appfluence.com.